Welcome to your weekly tarot forecast for the week of December 16th, 2018. It's a transition week. It's the final week of Sagittarius, and it's the week where a lot of your dreams come true. It's just at this point, it's very vague and arbitrary to say because dreams have been coming true in like little dreamlets. It's not like one grand dream. It's just been, this is the coming true, that coming true. Um, many of your dreams have been coming true through disappointment, rejection, is spirit's protection, and you may not know inside of this time space dimension how your roots get rerouted to lead you to a direction you really want even though you think you want something else. The underlying theme we have for this week is justice, contracts being signed, legal issues being rectified, and balance. Karma has the ability to be on your side, provided you are accountable and you are on the right side of justice. This is a rebalancing that will be occurring in your life to prepare for the eclipse at the end of the week, if you need to sign any official documents or contracts to legitimize what you're doing, make sure you do so. Because if you think people won't finesse you, you must not know about the nature of most people. Before we get into the spread, I do want to announce that I am conducting a webinar for Capricorn season and the webinar will be live on the 23rd on Sunday at noon. I think that's a fair time for um, anyone also in the UK who may want to catch it if they're able to sit in late. In this monthly webinar, we will be able to uncover various transits. And let me actually show you. You can go to the reports tab on my website, I have my uh, astrology reports, progressed reports, tower reports, and the webinar here is ticketed for $20 now. In this Ascension to Greatness webinar, we will be doing an intention ceremony and clearing ritual, aligning the four elements, and focusing on an intention moving forward. Then I will break down each relevant planet for the season, what degrees it will cover, and the lesson per season with the perspective of that planet. Then we will go into the general transits based on the sun, and then we will go into each zodiac sign, where whether you have your sun sign or not in a sign, it will still be relevant to you because you have a house cusp in a zodiac sign then we will do a five card oracle reading and open the grounds for questions and answers. Once you get this, you will receive a download link to get the webinar link for the actual um, webinar access that we will create. So definitely join. I have a discount code. If you type in the code Capricorn, especially if you have Capricorn energy, you can use that to get $10 off the webinar. That being said, let's get to the spread. So we do have, first of all, pretty epic week. I love this. The two of wands crossed by the magician. This week is a week of planning. This week is a week of seeing the full potential of your vision. The two of wands wants you to see your vision in the world so that you can manifest your originality into the world. What are, what, are, what are plans that you want to act off on realistically? The challenge is knowing that everything you're planning with the magician, you have all the resources you need. You are challenged to really bring your skills, to really bring your talents. You are skilled. You have to believe in yourself. And I like the two of swords here because a lot of these developments and blessings that you'll gain coming from the Empress means you're starting this week off with heavy blessings and you want to keep on the hush hush about them. 
um, you're founded by the King of Swords. So you're going to know a lot more than you let on. It's also saying to apply a very logical, objective approach to everything you do. No matter how passionate you get about ideas, act logically about it. The near future of this week is judgment, and it's unveiling great victory and celebration, my friends. I know you see that chapstick. This judgment card is talking about a great awakening that's going to uncover very hidden themes in your life and change your consciousness. This is all because of the eclipse we have at the end of the week. So keep that in mind. You might not see this, though. A lot of you are overwhelmed and busy and needing rest. OK, but the hard work you're doing is set to pay off. Spend some time this week to have fun. It, whenever you see the three of cups in a guidance position, have fun next to the king of wands. You may develop your relationship with a powerful entrepreneur who is ready to work with you or build with you in a genuine way. OK, so looking forward to this judgment card, this is going to really release a lot of burden and open up a lot of amazingness. So the Oracle cards that we have for this week, Sunday, we have <gasps> soulmates. Do you know your soulmate? Keep this in mind. Each card that I draw is specific to the day, but lasts the whole week because you don't want to see the week as just blocks of energy. Each energy has a wave. Some cards are stronger than others, so it'll be more intense that day but it's the theme of each week. OK, so this theme of this week is soulmates. And if you don't know who your soulmate is, if you're connecting with your soulmate, today is really going to allow you great understanding. I split the deck and I got milk and honey, too. So know that, you know, with all this positive energy, this is really meant to gear this in so that you can make a decision based on your knowledge of this. OK. Monday, we have come to the edge, which is going to encourage you to come outside your comfort zone. And this has a lot to do with soulmates because they're going to bring you close to that edge and you're going to bring them close to that edge. Tuesday, we have Yang, where a lot of this energy manifests physically and passionately. Tuesday is going to be a very powerful day to really step into your power. Wednesday, that was redundant. We have regeneration. And this is going to help you heal old wounds, but also facilitate a lot of burdens that slowed you down um, in order, you know, for much better proliferation of energy. I just said proliferation. Wow. Thursday, we have time to go and new adventure is dawning. I think around this time, the moon will be in Gemini ready to enter full in cancer and Friday. We have the tribe, the billion dollar vibe tribe, okay, which is pretty self-explanatory as you find a place of belonging. And finally, Saturday, we have time for a nap. I know you saw that four of swords card, so that's kind of what it applies to in a certain sense. Be in a position to very powerfully rest. I hope you enjoyed this tarot forecast and until next week.